early long flight. We're going to fly for about uh, 11 and a half, nearly 12 hours with a full load of passengers. And the reason we're doing that is because it's a first chance to check out the cabin in a realistic uh, scenario full of passengers and make sure that everything is working properly. And because we're doing it well before certification, uh, it allows us to, to see in advance if there are any issues that need to be fixed before certification. The uh, purpose of early long flight is really uh, to test uh, the aircraft in real environment and uh, test the cabin mainly, the air conditioning, and the uh, entertainment, and that uh, for uh, having uh, a satisfactory entry to service. Yeah, this is lovely. It's a real honour, a real treat and to really see. Uh, it's been hard work for so many people to put this together. It's a real honour to be here and to, just to see the aircraft and to, to be in it, to fly in it. Wonderful. One of the most outstanding features is the good atmosphere and the ambient and how do you feel with the temperature and the humidity and everything inside. It's very spacious, uh, it's, quite, uh, it's quiet also, I'm quite surprised. And um, also the space uh, above the head. Light, airy, quiet, everything I expected but more than that. I've never experienced anything like this before. I've never done an early long flight or, or worked with another you know, airline such as Airbus. We've had three days of training, two safety days, um, followed by an aircraft visit and in-flight service training. After 10 minutes on this brand new aircraft, they felt very comfortable. So we are very happy, even more than happy, to see that our co communality concept works at all, all levels, in the cockpit, in the cabin and in maintenance area. Yeah.